Next, we'll cover forecast. While checking the weather forecast on TV or the radio is always a good idea, pilots use a formal language to ensure we understand forecasts specific to aviation. Let's talk about the Terminal Aerodrome Forecast, or TAF. This is an excellent source for forecast weather at a specific airport. As with a METAR, plain language reports are also available online. Now check out this online example. TAFs are valid for a 24-hour period of time in most places and 30 hours at some airports. Scheduled four times a day at 000 Zulu, 0600 Zulu, 1200 Zulu, and 1800 Zulu time. While you need to learn how to read both METAR and TAFs to pass your knowledge exam, it's also important for you to know plain language reports are available to you online. There are similar codes as those used in the METAR reports. They are usually routine forecasts. An amended TAF may be issued when the current TAF is no longer as expected. TAFs use this format. You have type, location, issuance time, valid time, and the forecast. However, a TAF can be amended if conditions warrant. An amendment is issued when the forecast is no longer as expected. A TAF amended looks like this. TAF AMD. If the forecasters have made a correction, it is TAF COR or the TAF has been delayed and you are still waiting for information to go into that forecast. It's a TAF RTD. Now here's the TAF sequence. They are issued in the following format. You have type of report, location, issuance time, valid period, the forecast, and any temporary conditions. Now here are the forecast change groups. This section translates like this. You have Oklahoma City, fifth day of the month at 1130 Zulu. The effective time is from 1200 Zulu on the fifth day of the month until 1200 Zulu on the next day. A TAF is good for 24 hours in most places, but may be valid up to 30 hours at some airports. Wind from 140 degrees at 8 knots, visibility 5 statute miles, sky condition broken at 3,000 feet. Tempo sequence translates to this. Temporary conditions at 1300 Zulu to 1600 Zulu, one and a half statute miles in mist. FM 1600 here means from 1600 Zulu, winds will be 160 degrees at 10 knots, visibility greater than six statute miles. No significant weather indicated by NSW, and sky conditions are going to be clear. BE CMG means becoming. So becoming from 2200 Zulu to 2400 Zulu, the wind is now 200 at 13, gusting to 20 knots. Visibility, four statute miles. SHRA indicates rain showers. Sky conditions overcast with 2000 feet. Here's the next one. Probability. There's a 40% probability that the conditions between 00 Zulu and 600 Zulu will be visibility of two statute miles in thunderstorms and rain. Sky conditions overcast with cumulonimbus bases at 800 feet. Probability 40% at around 00 to 600 Zulu two statute miles, having some thunderstorms overcast with our bases of the cumulonimbus at 
800 feet. And then be coming from 0600 Zulu to 800 Zulu, winds 210 at 15 knots, visibility is greater than 6 statute miles. Be coming at 0600 Zulu to 0800 Zulu, 210 at 15. Our wind direction and our wind speed. There we are at 6 statute miles. No significant weather, NSW. Then we have our sky conditions down there, scattered at 4,000 feet.